Hey everyone, welcome back. I, well, sort of, I guess. Um, hello, anyway. I just wanted to record a quick video, very cringy, I know, um, but uh, just sort of talk to you guys a little bit about what uh, resources we have available this term, uh, since we're gonna be doing everything online um, and asynchronous too, and sort of talk a little bit about what that's going to look like, um, and just sort of walk you through the resources that we've got mapped out. Um, so let's go ahead, and I'm on Zoom right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, and we'll go ahead and pull up see how seamless this goes. There we go, that worked out okay. Okay, so um, we're on your Canvas page right now. Um, this isn't live at the moment, but this is the same thing as what it will look like once it eventually does go live. So if we scroll down here, this is gonna be the main page, the first thing that you'll see when you log in. Um, so here is my contact information, which I imagine all of you have by now from my email. Um, and then a little bit of information about uh, how we're going to be doing conference periods this term. So the plan for now is uh, to attempt to account for everybody in their different time zones. Um, we're going to have uh, two conference periods offered on Mondays. So one of them will be held during like the normal conference period time. So Mondays 10 to 10 45 um, a.m. and then again we'll hold a conference period at uh, 9 to 10 p.m. So these are both on Mondays. Both are live conference periods. Um, my hope is that if you're somewhere distant, if you know the time zone doesn't line up super well with Eastern time, um, that one of these times will work for you. So you will have at least one opportunity uh, a week to catch me live. If that doesn't work out, um, this link here opens up to our um, schedule so that you can sign up for a time to meet with me one-on-one -on -one if that works better for you. Each week I'll update this with my availability and um, you can just go ahead and put your name in. If you've been in my class before, this is something you'll recognize as something that we've done before. Um, you just go ahead and put your name in. And then I just ask that you shoot me a quick email uh, to let me know that you've signed up for a time so that I can send you your Zoom link and get you all squared away that way. So we'll go ahead and come back to Canvas. Um, each day for conference, or each Monday, I should say, for conference, the meeting ID will be posted right here. And so you can just um, copy and paste that URL and, and be able to get into the conference. So moving on, if we uh, start to scroll down, all of this is clickable here. Um, it, it's aimed to be designed so that you don't have to look very hard for whatever it is that you're looking for. And so, hey, you wanna go see the syllabus? Cool, so let's go ahead and open that. Syllabus is all right here. A little bit of information about the course. I do encourage you to go take a look at that and, and please let me know if there are any questions. Um, there's a tentative outline as well and some general policies, stuff about academic honesty and the, the usual sort of stuff you find on a, on a syllabus. So if we go to the online readings tab, we will see that this brings us to a document um, that has links um, and information about where you can access each of your texts. We're gonna be using a few different versions of OpenStax textbooks this term. Unfortunately, the one that we've been using uh, earlier in the year doesn't actually contain all of the information that um, we're going to be teaching in terms of content. So there, all of those links are um, posted here by category, but they'll also be embedded into your assignments and into your weekly reading. Um, this links just to your course calendar, which you can also access on this sidebar here. Um, and then all of your information, uh, once it's populated out, will be available in terms of like a assignments and just what are what are the general goings on of the course for the week. Um, I'll try to have these worked out um, as much as two or three weeks in advance so you can sort of plan things, um, but at minimum you can expect a, a week's worth of planning to be available for viewing in that calendar. If we scroll down here, um, this shows us 
which topics um, we're going to be covering this term. So we're going to be focusing primarily on, um, on the science of plants, really. So we're going to be looking a lot at botany, um, talking about plant physiology and photosynthesis, um, the human relationships to nature and the ethics of that, um, as well as doing, I think this is probably my favorite uh, subject of the term, we're going to be looking at food justice and sustainability. Um, and then you'll have some term projects as well, which we'll, we'll talk more about that later as, uh, as as they come a little bit closer, but those are going to be a lot of fun. Um, I also want to point out here our discussion board. So in our discussion board, we are going to have both um, a general sort of Q&A um, bulletin board. And so this is going to be a really good spot to say, um, you know, you have a question about one of the video resources, um, you have a question about some content or um, a component of the course that you'd like to kind of share out to the group. This is gonna be just sort of like a catch-all space for that. I do encourage you to use this and then further I encourage you to interact with each other through this. So if one of your peers has a question that you know the answer to, um, please answer it for them. Um, no need to, to wait around for me to get it, though I will be checking this daily um, and, uh, and be able to post responses there, um, but help each other out and, um, and, you know, cite your sources if you're not sure if you've got something kind of weird. Um, the other thing I'm going to point out here is the COVID-19 discussion board. So this is something that's kind of on everybody's minds right now. Um, it's the reason that we're doing this. Um, but I also want to be mindful of those individuals that are maybe sick of hearing about it or you know maybe this has impacted you in some way and this is not something that you want um, occupying your your mental bandwidth right now and that's totally fine wherever you're at um, you know we want to be kind and respectful and supportive of each other um, during this really strange and kind of difficult time so but if you do want to discuss, you know, anything related to this, if you have a, a biology question um, that you'd like to explore, I, I am happy to go down those kind of rabbit holes with you. If you'd like to discuss um, the coronavirus outbreaks, this is going to be your place to do it. This is going to be the one and only place that we will be discussing that. Um, this is, and this is, again, to give uh, those individuals who are not comfortable discussing this right now or not ready to have those conversations conversations an opportunity to opt out of them. So moving on, if we continue to scroll down, um, this will link us to a sort of master list of resources. So this is shared with um, Bio 100. So you'll see some um, you'll see some of their information as well, like there's a link to their text, and there's a link to their page as well. But these resources are available for everyone and I recommend them to all my students. Um, we will use these YouTube channels throughout the term um, in addition to video lessons that I've recorded myself. Um, for folks who have had me before, these will be just video sessions kind of like this um, where I'm sharing uh, my screen uh, with some slides up on the side. So pretty typical to what you're used to seeing. In terms of these tools here, um, I really want to highlight some of these because I think this is going to be, I think this term is going to be a lot of really is going to present a lot of like really challenging stuff for us all and it's going to really um it's going to really challenge the ways that we currently learn and it's going to i think uh, be difficult really sometimes and um so if we look at some of these tools uh, one of the ones i really like the most is um the beeline reader so this is um, a tool to help with on-screen reading so if you're anything like me um reading on a computer is kind of difficult um i get distracted really easily and i just i, I sometimes have a hard time following it um, so if that resonates with you at all or if you're just interested in trying out a new tool, I highly recommend this. Um, it will highlight your text for you and sort of help you um, walk through on-screen text that way, but it will also play back um, audio for you. So it'll be like, it'll work like a screen reader function also, um, and that can be really useful if you're more of an auditory type learner. 
uh, Quizlet, I, I imagine you know, but in case anybody's unfamiliar, uh, this tool works um, mostly with flashcards. You can also build yourself quizzes and assessments through that. I find it really, really useful for a lot of different types of learners. Um, Go Conquer is another really good one for visual learners. So this allows you to create like concept maps or mind maps, um, as well as flashcards. There's a planner tool. Um, there's all sorts of really good stuff in there. So if you're kind of a visual person, I definitely recommend checking that out. The last one that I think is really particularly useful is this marinara timer. So this is um, this is really meant for folks who either are super busy or have trouble focusing. Um, so if you are either one or both or neither, check it out. Um, what it does is it will kind of chunk up your time. And so if you have you know, a bunch of different tasks going on and you're saying like, uh, I don't really know how to parse out my time. One approach that you can do um, is called this Pomodoro approach, which um, there are a few different functions available for the marinara timer, but the Pomodoro timer is the one that I really recommend. So what it will do is it will, it'll give you, um, you know, a set period of time that you decide. So maybe 15, 20 minutes, um, 25 minutes, whatever feels right. And that time is your working time. That is when you are actively working on the task, you're doing whatever it is that you need to get to. You're um, studying for your quiz, you're doing your homework, you are um, washing your dishes, whatever. Then it will give you a five or 10 minute break. So it'll give you a chunk of time to be working, a chunk of time to be resting. During that resting time, you're checking your phone, you're reading, you're playing with your cat, you're doing whatever it is that you wanna be doing. Anything other than the thing you have to be doing. So check that out, super useful. Especially where you know, you're doing all of your courses online right now, I, I imagine that you know, new problems maybe uh, require new solutions. So please check those out and let me know if any are working well for you or if you'd like suggestions on maybe something else that could work better. Your OWL Guides page is here also. So there actually is not one um, for Bio 500 specifically. Um, if we look here, we'll see that there's a bunch of um, science courses that have unique um, OWL Guides pages. Bio 500 is not one of them, but that's okay. I included this because if we look at databases, there are actually um, quite a few resources um, for, that we can use for um, some upcoming online research projects that we'll be getting into. And then I've included PubMed. Now this is mostly gonna be used for um, Bio 500 rather than 100. Um, and this is a really great resource for finding, um, for finding published um, scientific peer reviewed articles. Um, and they can be quite dense. Um, it can be sometimes a little bit tricky to find what you're looking for. Um, if you need any help with that, I'm happy to sort of walk you through it if you're unfamiliar. Eventually, we'll also have this interactive modules and virtual labs page that's still in progress. I'm still working on it, but um, more information on that when it's made. Um, that's essentially it for Canvas. Again, my goal here is to have everything laid out for you as simply as possible in assignments. Um, you know, if you need to link to an external source, then that link will be embedded in the assignment as well as other places if you, you know, find, if you have another um, place that you're preferring to look for your information. Um, there will be stuff, of course, posted in the usual places like modules, um, your assignments, we can, you know, eventually you'll have information for your term project here. There will be announcements and discussions and all kinds of things. Um, what you can reasonably expect is that um, anything you need to access will be linked for you. Um, you can also expect that there will be roughly uh, two to three sort of like check-ins per week. And the expectation for passing this course is for you to interact with all of them. 
So um, those interactions, you know, will, will vary depending on what the, the check-ins are. You know, this could be, um, you know, commenting on one of your peers' discussion posts. This could be um, checking in with me. This could be submitting a homework. This could be completing a quiz. It can mean a lot of different things depending on what we're working on at that given time. Um, so more information on that as, as it sort of comes up. We'll have our first check-in posted Monday. If you're read, if you're you know reading and watching this over the weekend, I'm recording this on Saturday. So if you're watching this on Saturday or Sunday, don't do anything today. You know, there's nothing you need to do to prepare ahead. There's nothing you need to do to get ready. Um, your first assignment is to chill out and not worry about this for a couple more days. Um, but come Monday, all the information you need to get started will be posted up. In the meantime, I encourage you to click around. Um, let me know if anything isn't working, certainly, um, and I'll go ahead and fix that. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you need anything, please let me know. If you'd like to chat quickly over Zoom or on the phone, please let me know. Um, you'll see on your syllabus, um, I have posted my phone number. Also, if you're ever having trouble with your internet, um, please know that you can contact me. And um, it's not gonna be that hard to reach me at all. So. Let me know if you need anything. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon and um, hopefully get to see you in person before the year is up.